Welcome to another episode of the podcast. Today you're chilling with Made by Lungani. He is one and only the one who's uh, co-hosting or um, hosting the podcast today. Today we're going to be having a massive, massive um, uh, conversation about a very, 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 very special and um, um, emotional and uh, fragile complicated uh topic today on the podcast and i'm not alone i'm riding here with one of the greatest men he calls himself Poden, and i'll let him explain himself and tell you who he is oh uh, yeah i go by the name simon the great the ice measure it's your boy the one and only handsome boy worldwide yeah it is what it is and i like to say good boy hey, thank you God. thank you for having me yo these are some of the topics that we need to have some conversations about so that we can educate ourselves and educate our youth. So, yeah, let's do this. Away, away, away. You know what it is. You know what it do. Make sure that you listen to us on this podcast because we are having a, a very important conversation. Yesterday when I was speaking to you, you were talking about um, how, how does a person become gay and how does a person know that they are gay? Um, and then we talked about it a little bit, but I just want you. I just want you to tell me what do you think about the concept gay? Oh, like yeah. At first, like gay, like the way I thought about it is like uh, these people are just like and uh, they are just afraid of approaching girls. You see, mm. or maybe uh, yeah, they are just afraid of approaching girls or afraid of rejection. Mm. Those kind of things, or maybe they're afraid that they if they meet up with a girl, they won't perform better in a bed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so they 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 they're trying to save themselves from that embarrassment. So maybe if they go to boys and they say they 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 let the boys more such maybe have sex and put that thing in the you know the mm. the, the, the anus. Therefore, that way it's the boy that's doing the work. Them they they are not doing the work. Therefore, they won't get they won't be embarrassed. So that's my definition of being gay. Actually, like yeah. A lot of people usually have a, a misconce- misconception about being gay. So that's, that's one of his explanation on why or how pe- people become gay. And the and, and other question that you asked me is why, um, how does a person know that they are gay? You asked me that question that how does a person know? Do they just know from the jump that they are gay or what happens, what triggers it? And I said emotions and actions and um, a lot of things and behavior from a young age. And then you asked me another question that you was like, um, if if a child, because these people, they don't see that they are gay from a very young age, from a very um, a young age as like, as in maybe, let's say five years or seven years old, they don't know that they are gay. But I told you that now nah, you're wrong because these people, they know that they are gay. And from, do you think anybody who's gay can ex- should accept who they are or should they not accept who they are? What do you mean they should accept who they are by being gay? It's like they should come into the public and say, I'm gay or they just, yeah. I'm not like, I'm gay. Then there's nothing you can do about it. Yeah. And there's nothing that I can do about it. Mm. And that's it. That's bullshit. Jo. I believe that uh, when God created the, the, the human beings, he created uh, males and females. And then the, the penis is, is there to penetrate the vagina and make babies and also to create pay, pleasure and also like to, to create, the, to, to intensify the bond between the, the couple. As, as you also see in the animals, we, we, we can never see a male lion and a male lion copulating. We only see a male and a female. It's always like that. Whether it's a lion or a, an, an ant or anything, it will never be seen gender. So I don't think that he, they have the right to say I am gay and there's nothing that I can do about it. I hear you. I hear your point. I hear the point that you're making. But the point I was asking, but you answered it the correct way. What I wanted to ask you is that do you accept gays or do you not accept? That was the question that you uh, answered right now. Uh, I mean, when, when, when you have a penis, it's not specified which... Um, hole or which uh, thing should it go to you choose which what thing it goes to so sometimes you have a foreplay with your woman and then you put it in their mouth so 
what do you say about that because the mouth was not specified to say that that thing should go into the mouth what do you say about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah the... what do you say what do you have to say <laughs> jo <laughs> to be honest now i think like it's uh, it's it's us like you are trying to to explore things you know trying to explore maybe if we try this way what would happen you see the, as for like also we would, like there's uh, some positions like what doggy stars missionary mm. showers couches mm. so i think like uh, it's explore but i really don't know like uh, what whoever came with the concept of we should move in the mouth what was it uh, well, <laughs> for it to be okay but uh, yeah joe like uh, i'm not sure if i answered your question correctly or what but it is what it is, it is, what it is. <laughs> his main point being exploring people exploring things that they shouldn't be exploring so you you mean to tell me that a person that's gay is exploring what they shouldn't be exploring or you feel like they are confused or anything like that they're exploring what they shouldn't be exploring and they are confused yeah yeah, that it, it ends there. It ends there. Do you think you are judgmental of gay people? You can say that. <laughs> I'm not sure if I should say I'm judgmental because, but but you can say that I'm I'm judgmental because I don't agree with anything that they are doing. So in general, population, you say that is judgmental, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So so according to you, you wouldn't have a gay friend. Or you don't have a gay friend, or it would never happen that you have a gay friend. Or if 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 ever there's a gay person around you, how do you treat them? I just want to. I don't have a gay friend right now, and then I can never say that uh, I will never have a gay friend in future. In the future, because uh, you never know what you what what might happen in the future. Never say never. And so maybe something may trigger into my mind, but right now I'm saying that uh, what they're doing is wrong. And uh, when I'm around uh, gay people, like I just act no much. I just act much. Like I don't say anything. I don't say much. You greet me. I greet you. That's all. Like I don't want to get into your business as much as. You, I don't want you to get into my business. Let's respect each other. That's all. Okay, that's it. Now we can, we're going to conclude the conversation right here. We don't have to go any further because this man's right here. He's going in with his co co uh, comments about being gay, about the gay conversation. So that's it. Let's close it right there. We're going to listen to the <laughs> to the podcast and listen what we were saying. We were boring. Let's go. It finished that thing.